Log of the Electra, Matt Mercury commanding. The ship is on fire. Three of our crew are missing and presumed dead. We push our fractured Electra to her breaking point in an attempt to surprise and destroy our yet unseen attacker. The damage we've endured this day draws my mind back to happier times. I think of the day we received a badly needed upgrade. And I got a new science officer. I fought Control Council greatly about the assignment of Professor Brainwave to my command. Today, however, I realize that we might have all perished if not for his unique abilities. Just this morning, I reprimanded the professor. Now, I think better of it. Checkmate, Mr. Brainwave. Oh, I think you're outnumbered, dear girl. That's not fair! I hate you! I want to flush you into space and watch your eyes pop out of your freaky head! I want to push rocks off a cliff and bury you in a grave of my own making! I want to take a huge magnifying glass and focus it on your skull until it burns a hole clear through your brains! Oh my! I don't understand. She knew I'd do anything to win. Winning is the point. Isn't it? Well, you have to follow the rules or else the game isn't any fun. Rules make the players equally matched. Well, we're not equally matched. My intellect and abilities tower over Lieutenant Sparks's. Devastating your opponent isn't fun. Games are meant to be fun and making Sparks mad isn't fun. What is it? We have visitors, Captain Mercury. They came up on us fast. Before any of us could return to our stations, we fell into a deep sleep, presumably induced by our pursuers. Only one of our crew members appeared to be impervious. B6, what is your status? Systems functioning. <laughs> We're not alone, B6. Something has gotten into the ship. I am reading energy failure. The harmonic drive is shutting down. Follow me to engineering. B6, take the starboard magnetic flux guide station. When I give you the command, bring the guides together. Warning. If the guides touch, a fracture in space-time will occur. I'm counting on it. Engage the guides! You could save the Earth. You could save the Earth. As you may now surmise, all hope is lost. Please fasten your seatbelts and refrain from moving about the planet. This may be a very bumpy ride. The Earth is gone, along with all the rules you're so attached to. You're in uncharted territory now, whether you like it or not. Matt Mercury!
Engage the guides! Multi-dimensional friend. Sparks, Sparks, wake up! Sparks, Sparks, wake up! What's that, Captain? We're under attack. To the bridge. The aliens were trying to shut down the harmonic drive. They didn't appear to want to stick around once the shooting started. Nemo, where are those blasts coming from? The Lagrange point between the planet ahead and this system star. Put that planet between us and whatever's firing at us. I need some answers, and I need them now. Thanks for the pressure, Matt. You know how much I enjoy working under pressure. All department heads, meet me in the conference room in five minutes. Engineering, Mr. Volcro. No permanent damage to the drive, the hull is breached in two locations, and we're venting plasma fire. Medical, Dr. Cipher, casualties. Yeah, Captain Mercury. Three crewmen are severely burned, three are missing, presumed dead. Um, genitorial. Oh, we're ready to mop up, sir. <laughs> okay, um, food services. Oh, Captain, thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, you know, this is awesome. Uh, you know, I've never been in a meeting like this before. <laughs> Tactical, Mr. Nemo. Captain, the fire from the Lagrange point has stopped. We must assume it is a fixed position, possibly a station. As long as we keep the planet between us, we should be safe. We can't assume anything, Nemo. What do we know about this system? As you know, we are scheduled to explore this system. It consists of a Class C star, six gas giants, and one rocky planet, possibly supporting life. We know nothing more about the planet, and no Earth ship has ever mapped this system. A complete mystery. Bridge, report. We are being bombarded by heat rays! They are coming from the planet! How does it look, old friend? We can't withstand this for long. I estimate these rays will overheat our system in a matter of minutes. If we leave the planet, that station will blow us to bits. Not much of a welcome, Matt. I am the Protector. Ready yourself for destruction. Hold on! What right do you have to fire upon us? We protect the galaxy from what is imprisoned on this planet. From days of old, the creatures imprisoned here have been banned from interacting with men. There was a time when they were free to roam the galaxy, and they did great harm to your kind. Since then, no knowledge of their existence has been allowed. We will leave and never mention this place. You know too much. You must be destroyed. Now wait one minute. We didn't know anything until you just told us all that. Captain, we are superheating. I estimate three minutes until the Electra will no longer be able to sustain life. Protector, this isn't fair. You could have just warned us off. This isn't about fair. 
This is about your destruction. You know, I don't just roll out of bed an evil super genius. I mean, really. I start my day off with the breakfast that all super geniuses start off with. That's right, blast off cereal. Fortified with real sugar and rich milk chocolate. And with every box, you'll get a special Rocket Patrol spaceship model. So kids, launch your breakfast with sugar charged blast off. Just like the heroes from Rocket Patrol do. Blast off cereal! It's goo 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 delicious! <laughs> Captain! Life support is failing! Any suggestions, Professor? Are we playing by the rules, Matt? Not this time. Good. Then I have a solution. First, bye to him. The harmonic drive is online. I propose we blast out of orbit at maximum power. Take a parabolic orbit past the station and behind the star, and use its gravity to slingshot in behind the station and blast it to atoms. Slingshot around the star. Didn't I hear somewhere that will affect time? A time warp. We'll be on top of that station a day before they ever saw us in the first place. It could work. Yeah, simply wonderful, Captain Mercury. I commend your creative thinking, Professor Brainwave. I will be manning the escape pods. Please give me a call when you're complete, Captain Mercury, assuming there's a single person left alive on this ship. Let's do it. We are approaching the star, Captain. The star's gravity has us! We're speeding up! Steady as she goes. Mr. Nemo, check the chronometers. Time warp, Captain! Begin breakaway maneuvers. Maximum power! We are beyond that, I'm afraid, Engineer Volcro. She's fighting it, Captain! Room. Ready the cannons. Targeting. Targeting. Target acquired. Fire. Direct hit, Captain. The station is offline. Finish it. What? They're defenseless. Playing by the rule to build trust. We cannot trust these aliens. As long as they can rebuild, they will not accept any compromise. I want that station destroyed. The station is no more. Open a line to the protectors. Let's offer them a compromise.
Leaving orbit, Captain. We will deploy warning beacons as agreed. We sure surprised them, showing up before they even knew we existed. Those beacons will warn off other visitors to the system. The Protector World will forever be in a forbidden zone of space. And in return, they have assisted us in repairs. A very welcome change of attitude on their part. Checkmate, Lieutenant. You see, Professor, playing by the rules might not change the outcome, but it can change how we feel about the outcome. That's not true. The Protectors still hate us. They just fear us now. Well, my point is the same. No, it isn't. We killed everyone on the station. We imposed our solution on the Protectors by force. Yeah, but... No buts, Mercury. They will rebuild their defenses and more aggressively protect the planet from intruders. Yes, and we'll stay away, so no conflict. We will see. Hey, we are alive, right? Mad Mercury! Mad Mercury! Whose life belongs to those in need? So if you just leave me and say the name Mad Mercury, and say the name Mad Mercury. Please take a moment and press the like button and subscribe to our channel. It's very important and it's the way we'll keep more stories coming your way.